It's Faith's birthday today. She doesn't know yet. I think she forgot about it. So we're gonna film this video here. I'm just gonna surprise her by starting to sing, okay? A few moments later. Oh, oh, here she comes. Welcome back to our Advent series. We're on day 15. It's crazy to think that we only have 10 days left. But today we wanted to look at Psalm 100, verse one. So Joseph, will you read it for us? Wait a second, before we do that, I have something to say. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. <laughs> Joe loves cranking out his silly opera voice. The youth love it too. You might say it is my party trick. It is your party trick, yes. Everybody comment down below though and wish Faith a happy birthday. Yes, please do. She doesn't like it, but please do. All right, Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. It's a great reminder that Christmas isn't about us. You know, throughout this Advent series, we've come back to like, Christ is our joy, He is our hope, He is our peace, but it's easy to make things all about us. And today, on my birthday, I really wanted to talk about how it's easy for us to make it about us. You know, all my life, my birthday has been 10 days before Christmas. And so there's always been this weird, confusing thing where I'm like in the Christmas season, but then like a whole day is supposed to be about me or like, you know, my birthday party and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's human nature to want to make the salvation story, like the gospel about us at the center. And y'all know, I talk about this all the time on my channel. The Bible is a story of God redeeming his people for his glory. It's about him and his good work. And so I thought my birthday was the perfect day to kind of just talk about how it's easy for us to make Christmas about us and us needing his peace and his love and his joy. But also it's just at the end of the day should be worship. That's right. But wait a second. Look at this. So you're wearing like all black. I'm wearing my beautiful earrings a subscriber sent me. Yes, but still like the attention is, is taken away from you. And here I am in my gorilla ugly Christmas sweater and my reindeer hat. Like I'm sort of like bringing attention to myself right now. No. And here we are <laughs> like talking about not bringing attention to yourself. I was just feeling lazy with the outfit. Comfort over style today. No, like I think that this says a lot for today. No. Like, like here I am like do do do. I got a little bell on my bell on my sweater and everyone look at me. No, but we do. We make Christmas about us. But ultimately, if we doesn't respond in worship and in gratefulness and thankfulness, then it's falling short. It's incomplete understanding of Christmas. And here, why I thought it would be so helpful to look at Psalm 101 is because it's this command, make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. And it's a joyful noise. We've been talking about joy. We've been talking about responding to Christmas with these words, like the whole Advent series, love, hope, peace, joy. But what about making a joyful noise back in response and worship to the Lord and how important that is. That's right. And this is just like a quick reminder during this Christmas season as you're maybe going to worship events or going to candlelight ceremonies. It doesn't say here like make an excellent noise or like a, a well-coached, well-voiced noise to the Lord in worship because you're uh, in the choir or like you're a vocalist. It says make a joyful noise, which has to do with your heart. So you can make a joyful noise unto the Lord, whether you're pulling out your untrained opera opera voice or whether, <laughs> or like, you know, whether you can't hold a note or a, a tune or you're completely out of tune. Faith and I were watching The Voice last night and oh, yeah. somebody was very out of tune and it was like, it was hard to listen to. But it wasn't hard to listen to from God's perspective because he takes delight and joy in our voices, in our heart. So sing joyfully unto the Lord today in worship and praise. Remember why we exist. What is the chief end of man? What's the chief purpose of why we exist? And it's to glorify God. We say that with our boys all the time. And we do that by knowing him, by obeying him, and by enjoying him forever. And so we can also make a joyful noise, I would argue, with the ways that we even like worshipfully partake in things, like by the ways that we teach our children about God, that would be a joyful noise. By the ways that we sing the Christmas songs actually resonating on the truth of Christ, not just because it's a Christmas song. There's so many ways to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and join in with all of creation and shouts of glory and praise that point to Revelation 20 
21 in that final consummation. We think about heaven and how it will be people from all tribes, tongues, and nations singing, praising, responding in heavenly life of worship towards the Lord. And that's not going to be our earth way of understanding what a good worship service is with like cool people on stage, looking cool, sounding good, making the perfect like bridge and then crescendo to the chorus song. Like it's not going to be how we expect it. It's going to be even better. And so as you make a joyful noise to the Lord and focus on him this Christmas, not as much about ourselves, remember that you're joining in with all of creation and it's a small picture pointing to heaven. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on day 15. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Pray for me as I hope that Faith enjoys her day. Comment down below. Happy birthday to Faith and let's blow up that comment feed and she's going to love it or learn to love it and it's going to be great. Thank you guys so much. Bye guys. Day 15. See you tomorrow. The Lord loves you.